some experience with sure. what you're talking about. But, and my experience is that most people, if they are dependent and strung out, it's like everybody sells, everybody sure. trades, everybody picks sure. up for, everybody, one day he's the seller, the next day he's the buyer. You know, it goes sure. like that. So there's some concern so, about I got it, I got it, but you know what? Okay. I want to take you back on that, sorry, I want to add it. That you probably know this. A good, a, a good dealer doesn't use any drugs. So the ones that are really sick and, and they, they prey on these people that are addicts, they're not going to be using a drug because they're not going to be making any money. Those people are sick and they should be put in prison for the rest of their life because they know what they're doing and they prey on people like that. Well, I don't think that an addict that's, hey, you want some, we're going to switch back and forth. I don't think that they're uh, doing that. I understand your point. I'm just saying the person that's trading or sharing or picking up for anything is just as vulnerable to a drug uh, DIH while we know. And you know what? It's a case by case basis. What you're describing to me, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that person's free and clear. Right. We're not focusing on addicts that are sharing a needle or sharing their drugs. From my point focus. of view, it's so, that. But I want to finish up with your Good Samaritan Act. Your Good Samaritan Act. We have had, we have seen an increase in the 911. We've done public service announcements. We share that with everybody that everybody that comes into our jail. We got a recovery pod, the sheriff, everyone that comes into jail, they get that information on the 911 and the Good Samaritan Act. So actually, I disagree with you because we've seen an increase of folks actually coming there. Our, our deputies, they're the first responders. They're the first ones on scene. And they're not thinking in their head murder charge or that. That, that. that has to come through a long process. And the process is, is the detective goes there in an overdose scene and they gather, gather everything, all the circumstances, like you just right. said. No. It's his brother he's sharing it with. You think, you think we're gonna go charge him with murder? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying 